Hey guys, we're Ellison Johnson. I'm Patrick. And I'm Kyle. And we're here to take you around the world with us. Through our high times. Our low times. Our sassy times. Our fun times. And we can't wait to bring you all along. And show you all of our mistakes that we make along the way. There's a lot. We make quite a few. Hopefully the swallows don't interrupt us. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh, hello. Hi. Mother. I'll finish that after the uh, speech. Maybe tomorrow morning. Welcome, Welcome. to Sakata. How are we all? We hope we're well. Where is Sokotai? So Sokotai is six hours south of Chiang Mai. Most people will probably consider Sokotai as a pass through, not mm. really a stop off place, but- Don't be wrong. You know us, we've got to go. We love Sokotai. You don't want to spend too many days there. There are some real hidden gems Absolutely. to Sokotai and we're just about to dive straight in. So we started our journey to Sokotai from Chiang Mai and we left our hostel. We went for breakfast at Wonder Cafe. It's opposite the Wonder Club and it feels like you're eating breakfast at a club. It's all neon lights everywhere and like pumping music whilst you're having your breakfast it did introduce me though to the rice soup breakfast bowl by introduce it became your breakfast for the next four months so we definitely recommend going to wonder cafe if you feel a bit hip-hop maybe go is that what the kids call it well, who knows then what we did was we got a taxi from the iron bridge to bus terminal 2 to catch our bus to sucker type it was six hours and we had downloaded all the transformers films i was probably a film behind because kyle jumps ahead of me all the time i do well you watch harry potter every day yes i do and listen to it every day and i want different films different books subscribe for more harry potter we stayed in a place called perfect resort and it was perfectly okay. We do recommend it as a stop off, as we say. It's definitely somewhere just to rest your head for two nights, which is what we did. We had two nights there. And on the first night, we decided when we checked in, we had a little look around. There was a nice pool that you could swim in. We were told about a night market. So we we're like, maybe we'll get that to there. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, we called one of our favorite friends. Andrea Bocelli, we know, the it, famous one. It was a long one, so this is how our first night went, and we will see you tomorrow morning. This is our bus. I was going to edit on the bus, so he's going to finish his film now. That's a good old morning here for Kyle. We are masked up for the journey, which is a shame. We're ready for the aircon. Intense, intense aircon for the mountain climb. Yeah. See you on the bus. So we're here. Woo! We've been on the phone now for how long? Maybe two hours. Uh, two hours? Maybe two hours or so. Hey. Having a chat. So we've just checked in to a perfect resort and now we are on our way to the walking street. To get some dinner. We have got our own little private room for once. Bit of a treat for us. There's a pool which we're going to go in later. 24 hours. A double bed. Slightly softer Mattress. than the bricks that we've been on. And now we're in Sokotai for a couple of days. It's right off of the walking street. It's going to be lovely. So because we were on FaceTime with a lovely friend for a very long time, we have got to have a 7-Eleven dinner tonight, which is very exciting. Patrick's not finding it that exciting, but they have boiled water and we have some noodles and some microwave meals, but we have noticed they have a microwave behind the counter and we're going to ask whether they can microwave our food. And we've got some like Caesar salad. I'm feeling quite good about it. How are you feeling? 7-Eleven meals are just my favourite.
Good morning. Good morning. So on this day, we had the free breakfast that comes with the perfect resort. There were four different packages that you could mm. get. You could sort of choose which one. Some of them had toast and bread. Some of them a uh, pancake. Some of them were like an American breakfast, which is what we would call an English breakfast. Uh, we would not call it. It doesn't come close. It's a chicken sausage and salad. But you can get that option. It's all free. So it was actually, it does take a lot of stress away, I think, from our life when we have breakfast included in mm. places. We book everything on booking.com being genius level three you do get breakfast included in quite a lot of the accommodations mm. definitely a way to save a lot of money because we find in the morning we're really hungry or I'm craving fruit it does save a lot of money by just having breakfast because the days that breakfast is included we only have two meals a day yeah we tend to just skip lunch set yourself up you go out exploring mm -hmm. food isn't on your mind and then yeah. you end your day with a nice meal so yeah. and then we went over to Foresto Cafe which was very cute very quaint mm. very different did a bit I of loved it did a bit of work there great wife food I thought was brilliant good spring rolls if you don't have a pool you can also rent the pool there definitely recommend Foresto Cafe in Sokotai to visit it's just lovely it's a lovely space so we've woken up had some breakfast back at the perfect resort here in Sokotai we've done a little bit of travel planning this morning um, working out where we're going to go what route we're going to do done some social media done some TikTok prep and real prep and now we are at Foresto Cafe and Resort and there is a lovely little koi fish pot <laughs> and we're gonna go have some coffee and continue doing some more travel planning. Oh, yeah. Is this cold enough yet? I'm halfway through mine. Perfect Resort is actually Perfect Resort and motorbike rental. So we were able to rent our motorbike yeah. from the resort, which was really handy. We do have one tip. One of the biggest worries that we have, and I'm sure you will share it with us, are scratches and dents and the worry of hiring a motorbike. Obviously, you do give deposits, whether that be cash or a passport. And I know everyone takes photos, but the, one of the best things to do is film. If you've got a camera that does like 4K filming or even just like a decent quality film, you can get close, you can go in all the places. Now, when you film it, it's very, very different to taking a photo. They can see that you're very confident. You're mm. going like you are looking at every single scratch. So they, they note in their head. Like this isn't someone we could perhaps pull a fast one on. I know it's it's a negative way of thinking and we don't normally think like that at all. But when it comes down to you're a backpacker and you have a very small wallet, you do need to just cover your back yeah. can't, because can't we afford. have heard some horror stories. Yeah, and talk about it. We talk about it all the time. Mm. Oh, have you, there's this big scratch. Oh, mm. there's that. And make sure you always talk about the fuel level. They have to give you a helmet. So if they try not to give you one, say, I want a helmet, please. Yes. Yeah, and that's our tip about the bike. So after we showed our skills on a motorbike and were able to ride away, uh, one of our first stops was what Trafang What Trafang Tong? What he said. Yeah. The main thing to do in Sokotai is his Sokotai's historical national park. So en route from our hostel down to National Park, we came across this temple. Stopped, there was a horrendous smell, but that was just because the water was low. But you cross this beautiful bridge and you have this amazing wat in the center. Mm. And it was just a really nice place to have a look around. It was very quiet, it's open, it's completely free of charge as well, so you don't need to pay an entrance fee. Um, it's a really, really great place. It's it's a really, really... <laughs> It's a really, really great place just to go. It's on the side of the road. Stop in, have a look, take a look. It's, it's beautiful. Why not? If I could hear my father's voice So, of course, the main thing, the biggest thing, is the historical park in Sokotai. Now, it's almost a tiny... Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat. It was amazing. It was beautiful. Actually, the day that we went, it was very, very overcast at the time. And we are thinking, oh, gosh, I'm not sure. But it was hot. It was getting hotter. Mm. And we were thinking the sun is really, really going to come out. And you'll see in a second. Beautiful shot. One of my favourite shots that we've managed to capture on our DJI Mini 3 Pro. DJI Mini 3 Pro. This isn't an advert. Rachel is her name. Rachel is her name, apparently. One of our shots where the sun strikes the temple, the central temple in the middle, is just amazing. Now, what tips do we have for the historical park and how much is it? So it's 100 baht to enter per person. You do get a map and some information on a leaflet to go around with, 
which is amazing. And we just took a stroll through the park. One thing we would have loved to have done is you can actually hire push bikes because you're not allowed to take your moped inside, obviously, but you're allowed to push bike your way through. And it's quite a large park. Mm. So unless you've got a full day or two days to be able to go around and explore the whole thing, a push bike makes it a different experience. And there were so many like cute couples just cycling around and it's so silent. It is massive as well. You can take a picnic there. You can actually, you can spend the whole day there. Very easily. It was a really beautiful place. We were not expecting it to be quite so. In fact, I actually preferred it to Angkor. Now that popular we've... opinion. <laughs> now that we've been to both, I have to say this one. <laughs> Flick my hair. Now that we've been to both. Now that we've been to both. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> Honestly, I think Angkor Wat is amazing. It really, really is, and there are particular parts of it. But a historical park in Sukhothai was just underrated. Well, it's, I think for us, we hate people. We love people, we hate other people. We don't like crowds, I An think is what you're trying to say. That's the polite way of saying it. Yeah. And Angkor Wat is grand. What? Angkor Wat is full you of people. What do you keep thinking? They're like fry or something in what? Wok. Maybe. Angkor Wat. <laughs> Angkor Wat is full of people, whereas compared to Sokotai Historical Park, it was so quiet and calm and we lovely. Probably, we probably saw about five people and a security guard. And two joggers. Two joggers and that couple cycling. Yeah. Oh my God, it was just packed. Oh my God, there's too many people. Jeez, I preferred Angkor Wat. <laughs> After we visited the main Wat and had a look around, we took another stroll. We crossed a bridge into this beautiful water area that I saw as we were driving past oh. earlier. We took a pit stop mm -hmm. to face time our bestie Harriet no. and then we got some incredible shots. And here is a montage of everything historical park at Sukhothai. like wind in our sails Hold on tight I can smell the shore It's right in front of us If we just hold on tight This vision that I saw Is getting closer every dawn We are dreamers of the shore Seven years now on this boat And we all know where we belong Just wait If we just hold on tight This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn Ooh, We are dreamers of the shore When we can't read the sky We just sail with the wind that we've got And when we're drowning in just keep on believing We are dreamers of the But that isn't all we did on that day. So we finished at Sokotai Historical Park and the plan was to go to this really beautiful waterfall. We were told that we couldn't go out of the 
area that is soccer time with our bike rentals, which we weren't going to anyway. And country and continent. They actually wrote, please don't leave the continent on their terms and conditions. So we were going to drive to Cambodia, but we didn't. That's country. You said country? Continent. Continent? They had Sukhothai province, country and continent. Go go to Africa. <laughs> on, on a, a moped. On a little one, two, five. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we were going to go to this waterfall, but unfortunately this guy chickened out and had a bit of a meltdown. We're literally going down the road. I'm like, Wee! and you're like, Kyle. <laughs> Yes, yes. I, I, I think it's gonna thunderstorm. I really don't think we should go to the waterfall. The, the weather. I'm Apple like, what? Maps. You're yeah. like thunderstorm. We can't do it. I'm like. Wee. You have to say we trust Apple weather with our lives. Oh yeah. To the minute, so, people. Oh to yeah. The minute. They know it. They know the precipitation. They know it's coming. They know that you're only gonna get six minutes of it. I reckon they have a load of cows in a field and they just watch them in the apple park and they're like, the cows sat down, guys. And like one, sound. one's got Asia written on. <laughs> Apple said it was going to thunderstorm. You have to be prepared for these things. We didn't have our rain jackets. No. It was an hour's drive, which meant an hour there and an hour back. I was freaking out, so I said no. I put my foot down. And we ended up going to what? Safan Hin. The Standing Buddha. And oh my gosh, it was so worth it. It's just off of the road outside the back of the historical park. Everything is really within 10 minutes drive. Mm. 10 to maybe 20 minutes drive. You got this incredible step. Slate. Slated stoned walkway. Like mm. you could have just walked up the hill, but no, they made like this beautiful walkway all the way to the top. Mm. We got there and- We were huffing and puffing. I think I took my inhaler. It's actually steeper than it looked, but it was beautiful it was and the sun had just right in the shone. Corner. Honestly, it was like we were meant to be in Sakatai at this time. Mm. It was amazing. We saw this Buddha, we took some time, we did five minute meditations in our head, and then we left. Well, Antipal decided to be a photographer for this person. Yeah, this lady, she wanted me to take her photo. She was absolutely working. She was like, and I was like, oh yes, give me more, give me more. And he starts getting low on the floor, like, oh yeah. And he was like, are they all right? And she was like, <clears throat> yes, I didn't think I was doing that. But I mean, it's like after a one night stand, it's like, this is all good. Okay, You're now. like, ah! I didn't see your face before. <laughs> she was very pretty, actually. She was. And then we decided to head a little bit further down the road. Google. Thank you, Google Maps. Mm -hmm. On Google Maps, they have these little blue camera points that they put anywhere. I saw this camera point like five minutes down the road from the Standing Buddha. Mm -hmm. And I was like, come on, we've got time. Let's and just, I didn't want to go. Let's just go down there. Let's just, why not? And Pat provides again. It was the most stunning thing. One of the most stunning places we, we went what in Thailand. It's, it's got a name though. Sorry. Absolutely stunning. Sarit. Sarithong Dam. Sar Sarithong Dam. It was amazing. As you're driving down, you then come straight to it. It's on the right hand side. And there are mountains. It looks like New Zealand. It does. Or like Switzerland. Like you're suddenly going to see the fellowship walking across the top. I I couldn't believe it. It was absolutely stunning and with the sun. Okay, sorry. Back in the moment. The sun hit the lake and just shone these rays across it and we were like fly the drone. It was so stunning that there was actually a wedding photo shoot happening just slightly further down. We were in some wedding photos though. And this is what the dam was all about.
And then, when we were leaving the dam, oh as we were driving out, we were thinking, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I looked down at the dam and I noticed this massive fish. It was absolutely massive. And so I'm looking at this fish and then these locals come by and they're like, they have struck gold. And this guy just goes into the water, puts his hand in the fish's mouth, grabs its behind or tail. Behind? And it's like, oh my God, look what I've just caught. And I'm like, but I was like, I can't believe it. It's like it's, di it's like died of potential either natural causes or poison, and it's just like floated to the side of the lake. And I was like, is that safe to eat? But he put it on his like he just put it in the footwell of his bike, and it was stuck out like either side, ridiculous. Drove off, and then it fell out, slapped on the floor. So we picked it back up again, put it on his bike, stood on it, and drove off. Can you eat? An animal or fish once it's died. No, it's not once it's died. I mean, obviously, I know everything died <laughs> before you eat it. But what I mean is, like, once it started decaying, can you eat that meat? Decaying? Because decaying moves on to, like, mould and rot. If you're a butcher or a fishmonger, is it safe to do that? Yeah, let us know. That's really interesting. So after what was actually a very adventurous day, with, like, hidden gems popping out of the woodwork, we took a dip in our extra large bath pool. We did. Too. We enjoyed our little dip and then time for dinner, I thought. Yes. And we had heard about this restaurant called Chopper. Uh, so we were like, okay, okay, well, we'll give it a go. Yes. And it was really, really nice. It was. I had a green Thai curry. And I had spring rolls. Or just spring rolls. Sweet and sour chicken. I did. And it was amazing. It was really, really nice. The football was on. Football was on. And we, we love football. Hello guys, we've ended up at Chopper's Bar. So, Kyle got himself a sweet and sour chicken with rice, and I got a green Thai curry with rice, and also some spring rolls. We thought they were vegetable spring rolls, but we're not really sure what kind of spring rolls, but they're nice, so. They're springy. So, got some music on, open air and um, watching the football, because you know how much we love football. Not. So after one more sleep in our sweaty wooden box, it was, I have to say, actually, the aircon was so dry in Perfect Resort, we actually bought a humidifier. Yeah, that was that was when we bought it, wasn't it? Yeah, because I was dying. I was like, like I was literally lying down in bed and I could not breathe. Like he actually made me turn off the AC and just sleep with a fan. So humid, uh, the box was like a sauna, and I was like, mm, I'm sleeping so well. <laughs> you so did sleep very well. You were like... I'll sleep anywhere. I'm a bit delicate. Mm. <laughs> we had that one more sleep, woke up, and it was time to head to Bangkok. We went to Sokotai bus station. The bus was okay. It wasn't the most pleasant journey, this one. It was six hours or just under six hours to get to Bangkok, and it was chaos. Always is. Welcome to Bangkok. And here is why. So we've got off our bus Ooh. from Sokotai to Bangkok. A lot and longer than I was expecting. And when we asked the driver, where in Bangkok are we getting dropped off, he told us Bangkok. So small though, because it could be anywhere. I mean, it's just such a small city. So we are now trying to work our way. Google Maps doesn't think we can walk to the metro. Apple does think we can walk to the metro. We're just gonna give it a go. Trust in Apple. It's life's lesson. Tip number one, trust in Apple. We have a tip number one, trust So we can't walk it. So Apple was wrong, don't believe in Apple. Tip number two, do not trust in Apple. You can, but you just have to walk on the main road. You have to walk on the main toll road, which isn't ideal. So after a hectic adventure trying to get from the bus station in the middle of absolutely nowhere. We did make it. We did make it to Hoft Hell House. I mean, hostel. But more on why it was so bad next weekend on our Bangkok vlog, which is a highly awaited one, I think. Yeah. Everyone wants to know how Bangkok is, and actually, it is not what you think Bangkok is. I was pleasantly surprised. We love Bangkok. Why do we love Bangkok? We'll see you next weekend. <laughs>